Just quickly, before we get into today's video, a big thank you to our sponsors for making this year's Computex coverage possible. Check out Corsair's fancy new RGB memory and for a limited time, purchase any select MSI Intel-based motherboard or gaming desktop and get a free game pack worth up to $180. With titles such as Warhammer Vermintide 2 or Xmorph on offer, you can't go wrong. Check the link in the video description to learn more. Welcome back to Harbour Unboxed, we are at the Cooler Master booth and as usual Cooler Master does have quite a few new products on display. A couple of nice cases, some case mods that you can actually buy to put in your case so that is something we're definitely going to be looking at. Of course there is the Wraith Ripper heat sink and that's something that we're also very keen to check out. Some other all-in-one liquid coolers as well so let's go check all that stuff out. Alright, so we have the Wraith Ripper and I'm trying very hard not to drop this. It is quite heavy, it's probably one of the biggest air coolers you're going to come across and it is designed for the new 32 core Threadripper CPU. So pretty impressive that they can air cool that thing. It does have seven heat pipes. Not exactly sure how much it weighs but I can tell you it is quite a lot. We have addressable RGB, you can see that on the top and you've got the AMD Ryzen Threadripper logo. So it's going to look great through a tempered glass side panel, you'll be able to really show that off. Excited to see it and it will be coming to market later in the year when we do get the second generation Threadripper CPUs. No pricing or any of that sort of information available yet, but yeah, very keen to uh, see this when it does hit shelves. Before we move on, here's a few close-up shots of the Wraith Ripper. As you'd no doubt expect, the base plate is huge and allows for full TR4 socket coverage. There are seven copper heat pipes in total and these extend from one side of the heat sink down into the base and then back up into the opposite bank of fins. Embedded in the middle is a 120mm fan, which I guess you could say is set up in a push-pull configuration. Again, can't wait to get my hands on this one, test it out in the benchmark lab to see how well it really handles. Cooler Master also had a concept for the Hyper 212 on display, and it was really only a matter of time before they took their most popular cooler ever and created a true successor. This concept model manages to cram in 25% more fins when compared to the Hyper 212 Evo, and not only that, but they've also added an additional heat pipe taking the total heat pipe count to five. Although beefier than its predecessor, Cooler Master still promises broad compatibility, even with high profile memory modules. Another concept cooler Cooler Master was proudly showing off was an all-in-one liquid cooler featuring thermoelectric technology. We didn't get too much info about this one, but I'd love to test it on something like a Core i7-8700K to see what it can really do. A product that looks like it will come to market is their new all-in-one transparent liquid cooler. Cooler Master says this new design increases performance and allows users to see the pump working. So that's pretty cool. The addressable RGB lighting also illuminates the circular pump and provides some very eye-catching effects. Moving on from coolers, Cooler Master had their V-Series power supplies on display. It's been years since the original V-Series launched and to date the V12-1200 has been the only platinum rated PSU featured in the series. Cooler Master has stated they will be releasing a new line of V-Series units with a platinum efficiency rating with at least three different wattage levels. On display we found the V1300, 1000 and 850. So, I guess those three models will be 1300, 1000 and 850 watts. Cooler Master announced for the first time ever they have designed and manufactured their own PSU completely in-house. Everything from the internal design concept to the final testing has been done exclusively by Cooler Master's in-house product development team. This power supply is currently being referred to simply as the XG. Cooler Master claims that this brand new power supply platform is not only a milestone for them as a company, but for the entire PSU market. Moving on, Cooler Master was also showing off the brand new SK line of keyboards consisting of three different models, the SK620, SK630 and SK640. This line features unique Cherry MX low profile switches on a brushed aluminium top plate, RGB illumination, Type-C detachable cable and LED light bar that frames the keyboard, all this packed into a minimalistic design. The really cool thing here is that these keyboards are also wireless, so they do have a lithium ion battery inside and you can charge that using the Type-C cable, so great to see a few more wireless mechanical keyboards. The SK620 features a 60% compact layout, ideal for travelling. The SK630 is an 80% compact layout, while the SK640 is a 100% 104 key layout. Moving around to the case section of the booth, we came across the Mastercase SL600M, which Cooler Master says uses chimney-based heat regulation, and this is an efficient way to blend together silent technology with gaming performance. In short, this means the case draws cool air in from the bottom and exhausts the hotter air through the top panel. 
The case is wrapped in aluminium, giving it a very sleek appearance that looks and feels very premium. And one feature I really, really like about this case is the top-mounted USB ports. Check this out. Those are the USB ports you're looking for. There were loads and loads of cases on display, so we won't cover all of them, but one product that we've stumbled upon, and it doesn't really have an official name yet, it is called the Modular Bracket. So basically what this does is it allows you to mount all your hardware on a 20 degree angle. Very unique, something that we haven't really ever seen before. It's an accessory that will be sold separately, and it does fit most of the Cooler Master cases. So you can see it in the one back here. But yeah, very interesting product, and we're keen to try it out. You might even be able to make a standalone sort of test system out of this, so very interesting product by Cooler Master. I later learnt this mod, which will be coming to market as an accessory for most Cooler Master ATX cases, was designed by a modder whose name I can't pronounce, so I won't risk butchering it. It was originally designed and entered into the Player Unknown's Battlegrounds Battle Mods Asia Tour 2017 with Project Crosshairs. Very cool stuff indeed, and I really hope Cooler Master are able to bring this thing to market very soon. Anyway, that is going to do it for the Cooler Master booth coverage at Computex 2018. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll catch you again real soon in another video.